This is Red Neckerson. It chaps me off to have to come talk to you guys again. You guys see that thing called a debate last night? Look like two kids on the playground. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and you're bad and I'm better. Rude. Not fitting for two people wanting to be president in my way of thinking. Who gave made those men all powerful? Haven't they ever heard of the concept of we? Obama says I's gonna do it. Romney says no, you didn't do it, and I's gonna do it. How about inspiring the we in America to do it? And then first, let's figure out what the problem is before you start putting solutions on the table. Do you think they got any clue we're on, why we're unemployed? I don't reckon they do. They ain't noticed that someone's kicking our ass. Let me tell you, the kind of war we're getting ready for ain't the kind of war we're having. We're in an economic war. Someone should let the two of them know that America's not self-sufficient anymore. Someone should ask them who makes the most steel and concrete. Makes more cars than us. Makes more concrete. Has more cash. Has more our cash. And the difference is getting greater every day. Here's how the thing works. China spends about a hundred billion on defense. That gets us all paranoid and we spend, if you take all the different budgets and defense and energy and all that, we spend about a trillion a year, not counting on the wars. You think we got money for that? Nope. Borrow it from the Chinese. Chinese charge interest. Take some of that interest. You know the interest itself is it over 100 billion a year. Some years up to 400 billion. Anyway, they take that interest and they spend 100 billion, which causes us to spend a trillion next year. They loan it to us and charges interest. And they laugh all the way to the bank. Now, Obama and Romney both talking about how tough they're getting. It's like talking about getting tough with your banker. You're not going to take any more of his money. No, you're just going to not. Next time he wants to loan you money to keep you afloat, you're just not going to take it. Or well, are you going to kick him in the shin or something? First, you got to quit doing what's causing you to need so much money. Then you can be real nice to your banker. And if you're going to compete with him, you got to be a whole lot smarter than we are. You got to be subtle. Got to change some rules slowly. But that's another subject. Our guys. We ain't even figured out who's, they ain't even figured out who's kicking their butt yet. I'm talking about leadership. When you use the word I, you don't get the we activated. If you don't understand the problem and then get the we to help you on the problem, problem goes pretty much unfixed. Of course, I got other problems too, like Social Security. You're going to have to tell America... You're going to have to work a little longer, start your retirement a little bit later. You might even have to save some money on your own. I know ugly stuff, but that's the way it is. Romney going to cut taxes. Obama already cut taxes. Guess what? Real leader tell us to make any dent on the deficit. We need to be raising taxes and paying more. 
not overnight thing, but we better hunker down in the seat and get ready to pay taxes. That's the only way you're going to get the deficit out. Watch what's happening to Greece right now, then what's fixing to happen to Spain. Like we pointed out before, if we don't know how to quite do it, we, we should consult with uh, Mexico, who has a lot less debt per capita. Of course, they got universal health care, too. They try to take care of the people there. Yeah, their medicine and stuff isn't as good. Give them a few years, though. They're working on it. They're doing their best. A lot more than you can say about us. Romney got top secret plans. According to my plan, he says, it's going to all be okay. Trust me. And Obama says, we're doing great. Look at all the mess we started with and how far we've gone. Well, the truth is, she has started with a mess, but she ain't gone all that far. Most economists think we're going to add about 24 million jobs next four years. Pretty much doesn't matter which candidate gets in. Because, see, most of the time it's not the government solving the problems. It's the private sector and business living with the problems and getting finding a way to the other side despite what Congress is doing. So if they just kind of buckle down and do their do job, make it a little bit easier on the rest of us. But there's a lot of we out here making up for what Congress ain't doing. Anyway, when you guys get ready, we can organize a term limits and take up some slack on those guys in Congress. But so far, I reckon you guys ain't ready. This is Red Neckerson, just letting you know how it is.